Hey, how's it going, people? Brown Brady here, and in this episode, I'm taking a trip to Toronto to see my doctor for a doctor's appointment. And uh, normally, I would take my car, but today the weather is perfect, the roads are clear, um, rush hour is about to end. And the only thing left to do is to decide which one of my bikes to take, and it seems both of them want to go. And if I haven't mentioned in my previous episode, I've actually named my bikes. My CBR 250R is Bobcat, and my Honda Nighthawk 450 is Panther. Yes, I named them after cats, because uh, I used to love cats when I was a child. Both of them want to go, and I am undecided myself, so what we're going to do is... We're gonna flip for it. Heads, it's Panther. There we go. And it's Heads. And Panther is gonna go. So Panther, this is gonna be your first time with me on the 401. I know that uh, uh, Bobcat here has been with me on the 401 several times. This is also gonna be my first time on the 401 this season. Hopefully it'll be a safe ride and uneventful. There we go. All right, so first I would like to send my condolences out to a fallen rider in Toronto. He was involved in a single vehicle accident this morning. Uh, he was only 28 and he also had a younger passenger who survived but is in hospital. My condolences go out to the surviving family members if you're watching this. I'm not going to elaborate on the details but we'll save any comments in a future video. Anyway, on to my trip to Toronto, which is about a 40 minute drive on a good day. Highway 401 runs from Windsor to Quebec and it's considered to be one of the busiest highways in North America. And I try to avoid it as much as I can. In this case, I'm going to be late if I don't take it, so I'm going to be taking it today. By the way, in case you're wondering why I don't do my vlogging on my bike, it's because for a couple of reasons. Number one, I don't have a working microphone. My helmet is just too loud. I've tried so many different ways to configure it. I've stuffed a sock on my chin bar. I put it between the padding, and no matter how hard I tried, it's just too loud. I can't hear myself in the recorded audio. Secondly, and I think more importantly, I find it so distracting. Uh, when I'm vlogging, when I'm talking on my bike, I feel like half of my attention is taken away. I like to have full situational awareness. I want to see what's going on in front of me, beside me, and behind me. And whenever I'm talking, when I'm testing my microphone, it feels like I'm not focused. So anyway, uh, when I got on the ramp on the 401, uh, I was expecting a quick acceleration, but I was following a slow-moving vehicle, which is kind of good because I wanted to get a good read of the bike first. Eventually, uh, we got to speed and I stayed on the slow lane. I stayed on the right tire track as well. There was a lot of traffic going through the Whitby area. and It, it was uneventful. The only close call was when a car cut me off. I didn't even get a chance to honk because I wasn't used to honking. But uh, I blame myself for that incident because I was caught in the blind spot too long. I didn't get to feel the bike at highway speed until I was riding through the town of Ajax when the speed went up to 100 and above. It was surprisingly a lot more comfortable than my CBR 250R. In fact, I didn't feel like I was going over 100. My seating position was a lot more relaxed. The windscreen was deflecting most of the wind away from my body, away from my helmet. There was a bit of gust, but I think the extra 100 pounds on the bike, plus the larger rake angle, probably made it more stable. When I got off the highway, it felt like I had only been on it for half an hour, when really it was double that. Uh, the biggest area I still need to improve on is my low speed maneuvers, especially when I come to a stop. I still feel like I'm a little clumsy putting my foot down. Mind you, I'm not tall at all and the only way I can flat foot the bike is by shifting my butt to the left and putting my left foot down. And eventually I made it to the clinic and back home safely. In the end, even though the Nighthawk felt a lot more awkward to handle for me, I felt a lot safer on the highway compared to my CBR 250. I actually felt a lot more confident. In fact, on my way home I was so confident that I made an overtaking maneuver and I drive like a grandma. That'll be all for this episode. If you liked it, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you would like to see more of me, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. As always, ride safe and thanks for watching.